this is the select board meeting of Tuesday, November 24th. Our first item, a public hearing for the classification of taxable property. I think the reasons that the tax classification committee voted to maintain a single tax rate are just as relevant or more relevant now. It doesn't seem like a good time to shift additional burden onto businesses. What we learned at that time was because of the mix of residential versus business, you couldn't really make a big difference to the residential taxpayer without really heaping on to the businesses. I'll make a motion that uh, we adopt a single tax rate. Second. Aye. 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 So that's yeah. motion to set the tax rate at 1664. Second. Aye. 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 A request to approve a common victualler license for Diggy's LLC doing business as Diggy's Pizza at 175 Littleton Road. So so move. Second. Aye. 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 We have a public hearing to approve a license for a Class 2 used car dealership for 110 auto sales at 323 Littleton Road. It's a little white building right outside the 99 restaurant. We're looking for, I think it's a 28-car license for used cars. And mainly what we're looking to do is, is just really sell used cars. I, I own the limo company here in Westford. And obviously when travel went down, we started selling off our cars. I make a motion to approve. Second. Aye. 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 We're at our 8 p.m. item, which is a, an update on COVID-19 and the impacts on the town operation um, during this period. So we have a request for a waiver of 2021 all alcohol restaurant license fees from Scott Pelletier, who is the owner of Fuse Bistro. Mr. Pelletier is not on yet, so what is the pleasure of the board? I propose that we basically don't address this until such time that he comes back and can represent it. A request to consider waiving future lease payments for the Rodenbush Community Center due to the disruption in their programming because of COVID-19. This was the topic of discussion in the board's executive session earlier this evening. We are certainly cognizant of the impact that COVID-19 has had on Rodenbush and on its operations. We had the opportunity to review Rodenbush's finances. The board isn't prepared to waive completely the rental fees that Rodenbush pays the town for the full year of 2021. However, what we have determined that we are willing to do is to look at this sort of on a, an incremental basis, basically let the rent accrue for Rodenbush right now and suspend Rodenbush's payments at least up through April 1st, 2021. And that in and around April 1st, that we again revisit this and determine what the situation is both in the world, the community, in Rodenbush, and see where we stand at that point. I'll make a motion that the town of Westford uh, suspend collection of rent on the Rodenbush property pending reevaluation on or about April 1st of 2021. Aye. 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 Review the draft June 12th, 2021 annual town meeting timeline and fiscal year 2022 budget calendar. You've determined that town meeting will be on June 12th with a rain day of June 13th. I did confirm that with Jim Antonelli. We've got me presenting the budget to you and the finance committee on February 9th. And then the joint budget hearing with the school committee, FinCom, and the select board March 25th. Citizen petition articles due April 6th at 2 p.m. Town election warrant deadline April 26th. Voter registration May 21st. None of the election dates changed really because we're not proposing to change the election. So we'll get that on the website and if things change we'll update it accordingly. We are at old and uh, new business. A request from the Energy Committee to approve the Westford Power Options Program Tax Bill Stuffer. So moved. Second. Aye. 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 We have a request for an adjustment to the solid waste and recycling collection service located at Unicorn Drive. Hoping that perhaps the truck could come down the street. So there were concerns because when you come off of Route 40 to turn on to Unicorn Drive, the downhill slope is when you say eight to nine percent it's hard to really imagine what that looks like but it's got some grade to it and the drivers were concerned that if it was not plowed and salted properly during a snowstorm they may not be able to make it back up the hill and onto route 40. I sort of leave it back in your hands what you think is best but maybe drafting a letter to them you know letting them know that we will direct our trash and recycling to go down Unicorn Drive and pick up your recycling and trash. But you need to know that in winter conditions, if the drivers feel that they're not able to do it safely, they will not be picking your trash and recycling up and you won't have a recourse against them or us as a town. 
I'll make a motion to empower the assistant town manager to uh, advise collection of waste and recycling on Unicorn Drive. Second. Aye. 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 Our next item is a follow-up discussion uh, relative to the need for additional municipal parking and sale of 63 Main Street, including the impact on the value of the property from reducing the parcel size. What we're recommending is that the selectmen decide to decrease the size of the parcel to the line at the back of the parcel. You can see the line there. Yeah, he's got the little arrow on it. Um, if you made the parcel smaller, it would be a 1.57 acre, which seems similar to other parcels in the area. And then you could reserve the space in the back for future parking needs of the town. I did meet a, a realtor out there and she did not see a value change in splitting off that back 1.36 acres. We just thought that would give the town the most flexibility in the future, whether you decided to expand some parking, whether you wanted to have a pathway, whether you wanted to have a driveway. I make a motion that we divide the property as outlined on the map with the rear portion held for the town's use and the parcel abutting Main Street to be into an RFP for sale. Second. Aye. 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 Our next item is an update on the receipt of notice of intent to sell the property owned by Westford Riding Academy Trust located at 22 Griffin Road. We did receive the proper notice of intent and we have started the process through the Land Use Department of notifying all boards. As a reminder, the clock isn't really ticking due to COVID. We have a request to renew annual licenses and I'm not going to read them all I'm just going to say as listed on our agenda some of them yes Aye. 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 we also have a request to appoint Dan O'Donnell and Michelle Smith to the Westford Scholarship and Grant Committee so moved Aye. 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 I have a request to approve the following purchase orders. Liberty Chevrolet for a 2021 Chevy K2500 4x4 dump truck with plow and for a 2021 Chevy K25 4x4 utility body truck with plow as requested by the water department. Scott's Tree and Landscaping for clearing sidewalks for 2021 winter snow and ice seas. Dave Wickles Trucking for removal and disposal of catch base and cleaning and street sweepings. New England Fabricating and Welding Inc. for repairs to highway dump truck number 54 as requested by the highway department. Presidio for smart net support and updates for Cisco equipment and software as requested by technology. Patriot Properties for fiscal year 21 appraisals of personal property tax code 504 as requested by the assessors. And one contract tie and bond for professional engineering services for the Nutting Road treatment plant, media replacement as requested by the water department. I'm not requesting you approve the pro EMS solutions. We're not ready with that contract yet. Motion to approve. Aye. 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 Board reports and updates. Anita, do you want to report on the DEI? We were able to get through elections. It, took, it was a little bumpy, but we've got two chairs and a chair in training, which is one of the college students. We're going to train one of the secretaries at least to help with the meeting packets because I know we've been bothering Samantha quite a bit. So we're really excited to kind of get going on that. Before we adjourn, I just want to take this opportunity to wish everybody in Westford a safe, a healthy, and a peaceful Thanksgiving. I'm sure for many of us, it's not the Thanksgiving that we are accustomed to, but it is the Thanksgiving that we'll all be having in 2020. To all of Westford, um, as I said, on behalf of the board, we wish you safe, healthy, peaceful, and relaxing Thanksgiving with whomever you are with this year. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All those in favor? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.